Hello, I have a reservation. My name is Rita Cheng. Yes, I know who you are. Your table will be ready shortly. You are probably a fan of the way I've stood up against those greedy unions. Actually, no. Perhaps you've noticed the great job I did in commissioning a new logo for the university. I have no idea why you thought that was a good idea. Maybe you've noticed how undergraduate enrollment is up since I've taken over. Isn't total enrollment down? That is just due to softening graduate enrollment. So undergraduate enrollment is up less than one standard deviation from the mean for the last 10 years, and graduate enrollment is down so much it is actually bringing total enrollment down, and you think this is a good thing? Undergraduate enrollment increases revenue. But don't you depend on graduate students to teach undergraduate classes? Undergraduate enrollment increases revenue. And don't graduate students do the research that brings grant money into the university? Undergraduate enrollment increases revenue. And don't graduate students attend conferences and society meetings and help improve the university's profile? Undergraduate enrollment increases revenue. I cannot believe you make a six-figure salary. It is probably because of the great job I have done to increase undergraduate enrollment. You are even more vapid in person than your press releases. I am a highly respected academic administrator. I am not sure who you are respected by. Certainly not the faculty or staff that work here. I am a highly respected academic administrator. And I know the grad students do not respect you. I am a highly respected academic administrator. I do not respect you. Perhaps you have not seen my qualifications as a highly respected academic administrator. Do you even listen to yourself when you talk? Perhaps you have not seen the new logo I commissioned. I have seen the new logo. I also saw that you forced faculty and staff to take furlough days while you paid one and a half million dollars for a logo I could have made on my old Commodore 64. SIU has been struggling for years. This new logo is just the thing to turn it around. These are the types of decisions that I, a highly respected academic administrator get paid to make. I am not sure trying to break the backs of the unions by claiming poverty while wasting money on a stupid fucking logo is the way to turn around a university. It sounds like you have heard some of the rumors that a small group of troublemakers are threatening a strike. Are four unions a small group of troublemakers? They do not matter. The university will function just fine even if there is a strike. They teach the classes. That's the main point of a university. I can assure you they will not disrupt the day-to-day -day operations of the university. I am not sure you even understand what the day-to-day -day operations of a university are. We will just bring in substitute teachers to fill in for any faculty that go on strike. You really have no idea what university professors do, do you? We also have administrators that can fill in for any instructors that walk out. If you have enough administrators to do the job of administration and teaching, Perhaps your budget problems come from having too many administrators. I would like to assure you any strike will in no way affect the day-to-day -day operations of the university. I already disliked you before you walked in here tonight. There will still be food in the dining halls, the student center will still be open, and we will still have our new logo. So there is no need to worry. Even if you went to my house and kicked my puppy I could not possibly dislike you more than I do right now. As a member of the community I am sure you are very proud of the new football field we built. I have not seen the new football field. But as a graduate student I have seen the fees to pay for it. In fact I am working this job at night in addition to my teaching responsibilities so I can pay for all the new fees you have instituted. You should go to a football game. Between teaching undergraduate classes, taking graduate courses, doing my research, and working an outside job I do not have time to go to a football game. Sometimes we bring an actual Seleucus to run around the football field. Yes, and those goddamn dogs get better health care than I do. We are committed to providing health insurance to all of our students. And you have access to the Student Health Center. The Student Health Center is fine for 19-year-old undergrades on their parents' insurance. I am 33. Many grad students have children. We need real health care. Do you know what would happen if we provided high-quality health care to graduate students? I wouldn't have to drive to the free clinic in St. Louis to get a mammogram. We can just give out free mammograms to everyone who wants one. Soon we would have people applying for grad school just for the free mammograms. Besides, you are just a student. When I want to go out of town over semester break I am considered an employee and have to ask my department for a day off. By the way, 
Aren't grad assistants prohibited from having outside employment? Didn't you just say I was just a student? I think I will have a cup of coffee while I wait for my table. Wouldn't you rather go home and make a cup of coffee in one of your $800 coffee makers the university bought for you?